Hi everybody, welcome back to Cheat 3. Today we have our Squid Game box. If you saw the show and liked it, uh, comment below on what your favorite game was in the show. Um, this box is not a difficult box. I know a lot of people were kind of hoping it would be an epic box, but we do have our difficult stellar box coming out very shortly. All right, let's get started on the full tutorial. Okay, the first layer is going to be a 6x10 plate and black. And I know it might be a little bit difficult to see on the black background, but I'll try my best to say the names of all the pieces. And then a 2x10 plate and black. And we're going to put those together like this. And then I have a 1x6 brick and magenta that will connect them. A 1x1 tile a 1x4 brick, a 1x6 brick, a 2x4 tile, a 1x4 tile, a 2x4 plate, and a 1x4 plate, another 2x4 tile, a 1x4 plate, a 2x4 plate, and then a one by one tile, a one by two tile, a one by four tile, a two by four tile, and one by one, that's a tile, a one by two plate, and another one by one tile. Okay, next I have a two by four plate and then a one by six plate. This is gonna sit on those four studs and then extend two lengths. And then a two by four tile and a one by six tile. Um, then I have a two by four plate here and a one by four and then I'm going to stack these two one by one plates and those are going to sit on this stud here. Um, then I have a one by three plate and then I'm going to fill in this space with tiles. So this can be any combination. If you have one by threes that you would prefer to use, that's fine. Or two by two, just whatever tiles you have there. Okay, now we are going to build two sliders. I'm going to start with this one by two plate. This is one that had an under tube and I've removed it. You just wanna grab onto the under tube, rock back and forth and pull it out. If, this, if, the, if your one by two plate has side ridges, you will also want to remove those. And it's gonna sit right on that stud and it should be able to slide. Um, then this one by three plate is going to sit here and a one by two plate next to it there. And then we wanna connect all of them with a one by two tile. If you have a two by two, that's probably preferable. Um, I did not have that. So I'm using a one by two, a one by one tile and a one by four tile. And then I have, um, a one by eight plate and a one by four plate. I'm going to put those together. And then this is a two by two plate and it's going to set one, two, three, four on this fourth stud, put it directly beneath the fourth and fifth. And then this two by two corner plate is going to sit here. And that one comes in one, two, three, four studs. Um, I have taken off this corner here just to make the mechanics of the puzzle work a little bit better. Um, that's up to you if you want to shave that corner off or not. Then I have a transparent red tile here, a one by one tile. And then to connect those, I have this corner tile. Again, the tile placement is up to you. Um, if you have other pieces that you would prefer to use, that's fine. 
doesn't really matter as long as you're connecting all of them um, so that you know these pieces are connected to those ones and then a one by two tile a one by one plate and another corner tile this one by two tile sits on top of that stud and then a one by two tile a one by two tile again a one by one tile and a neon transparent green one and all this is going to sit right in here the next layer starts with a one by eight plate in black that one goes here and then another one on the other side then i have a one by two plate and i'm going to slide that tile over like that and a one by two tile a one by two plate another one by two tile and a one by two plate all right this next layer i'm going to start with these two by two corner plates and i'm going to stack those those are going to sit right there in that space like that. Then I have a third, this one sits here, and a two by two plate here. This one is exterior facing, so you do want to be mindful of the color of that plate. Um, and the same for these. This is a one by three plate and a one by four plate. And I'm going to put this six by eight plate in black over top like this. And then in those two spots, I have a one by two plate and another one by two plate. Okay, the next layer, I have a one by one plate, a one by one tile, a one by one plate, and a one by two plate. This can be a one by three, I just didn't happen to have any more of those. A one by one tile and a one by two plate another one by two plate and a one by six plate then a one by four plate a one by one tile and a one by three plate okay next we have a one by three plate another one by three plate a one by one tile a one by two tile, another one by two tile, and a one by one plate, a one by one tile, a one by three plate, a one by one plate, a one by one tile, and a one by two plate, a one by four plate, a one by four tile, a one by four plate, a one by four tile, then a one by two plate, a one by two tile, a one by two plate, a one by one plate, a one by one tile, a one by three plate, another one by three plate, a one by one tile, a one by three plate here, a one by one tile in that spot, and a one by one plate. All right, I am going to start this layer off with this one by eight plate. This one goes here. I'm skipping studs on the two ends. And then a one by four plate goes here and a one by one next to it. A one by eight plate after having skipped another row. I'm skipping another row with all those tiles and then on the studs we're putting a third one by eight plate. Then this one by four is flush with the end and a one by six plate flush with that end. Um, on this stud here, I have a one by one plate. And then on these two plates, 
I have one by ones, one there and one here. Um, I'm going to skip that row for now and do the tiles last. This is a one by one plate again. And then on this stud, another one by one plate. And then over here, I have a one by one plate. I'm going to skip that row. A one by one plate here. Again, skip, that will be that transparent tile. One by one plate there, and another one by one plate here. Um, now for the tiles. On the exterior of the box, I'm going to put these transparent stepping stones. <laughs> uh, one there, one here, and another one here. On that stud there, this one by two tile. And then on this stud, another transparent tile, one here. And then this one by two tile goes on that stud. These white ones, they can be any color, um, but they are just going to sit in between like that. Um, this space here is going to remain open. And then these two pieces are both Frankenbricked. This one by two tie or one by two plate has the under tube removed. This one will sit in here like that. And then this one by three plate, it typically has two under tubes and I've removed this one. All right, building up the next layer, I'm going to skip one, two studs, and then put this one by four brick right there. And then from this side, I'm also going to skip one, two, and put a one by two brick here. This is a one by six brick going to sit in one row and this one by six brick is going to sit here um, next I have this one by six brick it's going to sit here and then um, skipping that back row I have another one by six brick that one goes here and this one by two brick there this one by two brick sits here. A one by four brick. A one by two brick. This one by one has the stud um, on the outside that we'll place our tool on. And then we have a one by one brick. A one by six brick. And a one by two brick. This two by three plate. Um, it's going to sit inside the box. It can be any color. That one goes there. And then a one by four plate. This two by four tile is going to sit here. And then this one by four tile is going to sit flush with the bottom of the box. Like that. And then actually over top of that sliding one, I'm going to put a one by two tile. All right, next I am going to put a one by six plate. I'm going to skip a stud and then put this one here and a one by two plate next to it. And over top, a black one by eight tile. Um, this two by, or sorry, this one by three plate sits here. And then a one by two plate there. And over top of that, I have a one by four plate and a one by one plate. On that white two by three plate, I'm going to put three one by two tiles. And then I have three one by six tiles. They are going to go here in the middle and over on this side. Um, on those three studs, I have a one by two and a one by one. And then on those, a one by two tile. Okay, now I have a one by two plate here, a one by six plate, a one by four plate, and another one by four. 
If you want to substitute that for a one by eight, that's cool. Um, a one by two plate here and a one by six plate. And then three one by eight plates in black. This one here, second and the third. Okay, next we're gonna build a button. Um, it's gonna start with this two by two brick. And over top of that, I'm going to put this two by two plate um, that's modified with this curved rounded edge. And then another two by two plate over top. That one's just a regular one. A one by two tile in magenta and a one by two tile in black. And then I'm gonna flip it over. And in this corner here, I'm going to put a spring so that when I set it down in the box, the spring is over on this upper right hand corner. So I'm just positioning this button inside the box. The spring is over here on this corner. And actually on these bricks, they have quite a bit of space in between. Um, and we're just going to put the spring right up inside that cavity. So that when we push down, actually it's not gonna work with that. If we slide that tile over and I push this down, this button should be flush with this front tile. That should be on one level. Obviously when this piece is underneath that blocking, it won't be able to press down. Okay, and to finish off the, the rest of the box, I have a um, six by eight plate. This one is going to go over here. And then a one by four plate, a four by four plate, a two by three plate, and a one by two plate. Um, then I have this one by six tile, a one by two tile, the one by one tile, another one by one tile. And then I have this like two by two round flat tile. That one goes there. A one by one tile, a one by one tile in black. This two by four tile there. Um, we'll put another one of those here. Then we have, let's see, this one is misplaced. These two one by two magenta tiles go here. And then a third in black. Then I have a one by two tile, another one by two tile, a two by four tile. This black one by four tile goes there. That's our missing spot for that magenta tile. Then I have a one by one tile in black, a one by two in magenta, and a one by one. Um, next, I have this one by two jumper in magenta. There are three of those total. And this one is going to sit in between like that. And then a one by two tile, a one by one, the same on the other side. And then I have another one of these circular two by two tiles that's round. Um, this one by two tile sits on that stud there. And then this piece is a little tricky to put on, um, but you essentially want to line up this hole with that. This hole is going to sit inside of that one. And then this hole is going to sit on the side of that one. So it's a little bit of a squeeze, but it does work. So I'm going to line that one up first, and then I'm going to just push over this way and down. And then this one you can kind of shift to move um, so that it aligns with that part of the triangle. And then I have a one by eight tile and black and that will be our tool and that sits right on that stud on the side. All right, so that's the full tutorial for a Squid Game puzzle box. Um, I will show you how to solve it now. Okay, this is how we solve the Squid Game puzzle box. First remove the tool, then press in that red light button, 
that will pop out this piece here. We want to make sure that's all the way out. That's very important for this box that all the pieces that extend come all the way out. Um, and then press this green light button. Next, we want to use our tool and slide out that tile. Again, making sure that they're fully extended. Then on this side, that will press out this tile here. And then use the tool to push out that tile. So when all of these buttons are fully extended, that will allow us to press down on this button and extend our drawer. And you can put money um, or whatever you'd like in these cavities here. Um, as long as this spot here is free to move, you don't want anything blocking. And this tile is in like that. You don't want something to get lodged in that portion there. Otherwise that will block that piece from sliding over. You can also build up this layer um, one more higher as long as you're leaving a space there, like putting another set of plates and, and then those tiles over top of that other set of plates, that's fine too. Um, I just opted for a deeper kind of compartment area. And then to put the puzzle back together, just press down on the button, slide your drawer back in, push all of these buttons that are out, push them back in and replace your tool and it's ready to be solved again. All right, stay tuned for um, our next puzzle box, which will be the Stellar box. And this is what it looks like. Cheat three, out.